Hello guys and welcome back to Daily Mixes channel. My name is Jordan and for my look today I'm going to recreate Rapunzel. Disney have adapted a musical called Into the Woods into a movie and it has a fantastic cast with so many amazing popular um, fairy tale characters and one of those is Rapunzel which is why I'm doing the Rapunzel look for you. Her look is quite natural, quite fresh and young so it's quite easy to do. So if you like this look, then please keep watching. So foundation, I've used this one from Avon and it's the Lux Silken Foundation and I've got the shade Natural Glamour. And what I've done is I've put two pumps of this in mixed with this BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream which gives you an extra glow because I feel like Rapunzel has quite a dewy, natural look. So I want her to look very glowy and fresh. So two pumps of the foundation and one pump of the illumination cream and I put them in a little pot and I'm just going to mix them together with my foundation brush and I'm using the Real Techniques one. Now the concealer I'm using this Maybelline Age Rewind one and I'm just going to pop that under my eyes and I'm just popping that into a little triangle shape under my eyes. I'm also going to pop a little bit on the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, cupid's bow and chin and I'm just going to blend that in with my foundation brush again. And I'm just going to set the under eye concealer because I don't want to set the whole face because I want her to stay quite dewy and glowy and natural and fresh. <laughs> um, but the under eye concealer I always feel like I need to set so I'm just using this one from Bare Minerals and it's well rested. And this is actually a concealer I think. It's an eye brightener. I'm using a Real Techniques brush and I'm using the setting brush. And I'm just pressing that into my skin under the eye. Now for eyebrows and I'm going to use a MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil. And what I'm going to do is just fill them in lightly. I'm not going to do them as dark as I normally would because I want them to look a little bit more natural. Um, I'm just going to fill in mainly the sparse areas. So I'm just lightly, very, very lightly just pressing with the brush. Just tickle in the eyebrow with it really. Then I'm just going to make the arch um, a little bit more intense. So I'm going to press a little bit harder there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line here and then I'm going to use a angled brush and push the product upwards. And then I'm going to grab a spoolie and just brush through them. Now looking at the picture of Rapunzel, she looks quite pale. So I'm just going to put blush on for now and see how it looks. Um, I might need to put a little bit of bronzer on in certain places but for now I'm just going to put a bit of blush on and see how that goes and I'm going to be using one from YSL and it is a creme de blush in the shade number 9 and it's this gorgeous pink and to apply that I'm using this um, Real Techniques stippling brush I find this brush is quite good at um, applying cream products so I'm just going to dab that into the pot smile and put it on the apples of my cheeks work in circular motions and then keep going upwards towards the temple. And I'm obsessed with wearing highlight but I'm not going to put any on because we've put that um, Gerard Cosmetics facial illumination cream in with our foundation. We've already got kind of a glow and so instead of applying like a proper real shimmer here I'm just going to leave it so it looks more natural. The, natural. the more natural it looks the better really. Rapunzel seems quite innocent and pure. So I'm going to use the Naked Free palette for the eyes and I'm going to keep it quite simple but first of all I'm going to use the shade Limit from the Naked Free palette and I'm going to pop that into the crease area and the upper crease. And to do this I'm using a tapered E35 brush from Sigma and what I'm doing is I'm going in the upper part of the crease and then I'm sweeping backwards and forwards and then in circular motions. Now 
Next I'm going to use the shade Burnout and I'm going to put that onto the base of my lid and I just press, pack it on by pressing and then I'm just going to sweep as well. And I'm just using the Avon brush to do this. You can use any sort of eye, flat eyeshadow brush to do this. And then I'm going to pop a little bit of dust on the inner corner. And I'm only putting the tiny bit in there. Next I'm going to use the colour Strange which is a matte white and I'm going to pop that onto my brow bone and I'm just using the concealer brush to do this. I'm then going to get some more Limit, the first shade we used, and run that through the crease once more. Now I'm going to put a little bit of white eyeliner in my waterline and this is one from MAC and it's called Fascinating. And I'll just run that in the lower waterline and this will just open the eyes a bit more. And then on the lower lash line I'm going to use a pencil brush and limit once more and I'm just going to run that on this outer part of the eye. So from here and then join up to the top shadow at the side. Now for mascara and I'm using this one from the Balm and it's called the Cheetah. So I'm putting on quite a bit of mascara but I'm trying to keep the eyelashes clump free. Now for lips I'm going to be using this Rimmel Lasting Finish Colour Brush which is kind of a balm and I'm using um, number 100, give me a cuddle. Does it look a little bit more natural than lipstick? <laughs> if I can talk while putting it on. <laughs> then I'm just going to push that in with my finger just to lighten it a little bit so it doesn't look too glossy. taken away a little bit of the colour so my lips look like they're stained more than have a product on. And that is the makeup done. I'm not going to bother putting bronzer on because I don't think it needs it and I don't think Rapunzel is very bronzed. She hasn't been out of her tower for years. Um, so now I'm going to do change into my cute little outfit and do my hair. So I'll show you that in a second. So first of all I just brush all of my hair and then section it. And then I'm putting in some Bellamy hair extensions and I'm only using three wefts of these hair extensions but the biggest ones and I'm putting them in more towards one side of the hair because we're going to have our hair in a side plait so uh, the side you want your hair to sit put the hair extensions more to that side. So I don't put them too far up to the top of my head because we're going to put a bit of the French plait to the side. Um, and if we had hair extensions too high up they'd get in the way and you'd be able to see them so I've only put in the three wefts and yep <laughs> now I'm going to section it off again and using a Bellamy 6-in-1 curler and the smallest attachment I'm then curling my hair with that and just curling the whole of the head I'm using the smallest attachment because we want our curls to be really tight and ringlety, like very fairy tale like. So the smaller the tongue, the better. When I get to the top layer of hair, I don't go right to the top of the root because if all that root is curly, it's going to be harder to do the French plait. So I'm only going um, halfway up the hair on the top section. Apart from these two front bits, which I'm going to leave out of the plait because we're going to leave those two little bits out. So now we're just doing a French plait from one side, the side we're going to have the, the whole of the hair, start your French plait there and leave out any bits that you wish to make it look cute and girly. And as you're doing the plait just bring in each part from the other side just so you're pulling it round to a side ponytail like you can see here. And when you've done, then pull bits out so the plait is bigger and chunkier and a little bit more messy. And you're done. 
So that is the final look guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've just popped on this little dress and I got it from Escapade. It's really cute, I think, and I think it's very fairy tale like so I thought it'd be perfect for Rapunzel. Um, and yeah, these little curls, I think, oh, very rapunzel -y. Obviously my hair isn't quite as long, but you could maybe get a wig or something if you wanted it really long. I think you can buy Rapunzel wigs, but if you wanted to make it look a bit more natural, then just pop in some hair extensions and you're good to go. So I'm so glad to have been on Daily Mix's channel. I really hope you enjoyed watching me on here. If you'd like to see more from me, then check out my channel. It should be in the link below, the description bar below. Um, but if you just type in Jordan Bone, I'm sure you'll find me. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to give it a like and leave me some comments below because I'm really excited to see what you think of this look. I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.